What is the primary function of the large intestine? Your options are digestion, absorption, secretion or elimination. The correct answer is D that is elimination. The large intestine is primarily responsible for absorbing water and electrolytes from indigestible food residues and forming feces for elimination. Question number 2. Which of the following is not a segment of the large intestine? Your options are duodenum, cecum, sigmoid colon or rectum the correct answer is d that is duodenum the duodenum is the first part of the small intestine but not the part of large intestine question number four what is the function of the sigmoid colon your options are absorption of nutrients storage of feces Digestion of proteins or secretion of bile? The correct answer is B that is storage of feces. The sigmoid colon acts as a reservoir for feces before they are expelled from the body during defecation. Question number fifth Which structure connects the small intestine to the large intestine? Your options are ileocecal wall. Pyloric sphincter, sphincter audi, or gastroesophageal junction? The correct answer is ileocecal wall. Ileocecal wall regulates the flow of material from the small intestine into the large intestine, preventing the back flow. Question number 6. Dear friends, welcome back to Dear Competitive Exam YouTube channel. Today, you are attending. 100 most repeated and most important question answer session based on human large intestines and this is the part 1 of this series the second part will be uploaded day after tomorrow so do watch this video completely to make yourself more fit to answer any kind of question based on human large intestines and at the end if you find this video helpful then please do like subscribe and share this video to all your friends who are preparing for upcoming any kinds of medical exams let's continue dear friends there is one more announcement dear friends as per your suggestions we have started a new youtube channel where we are conducting exam or assessments based on science topics I'm sure that those videos will help you a lot to prepare for upcoming science or medical even NEET exams where we help you to gain knowledge and confidence attending plenty quizzes based on science and NEET exams. If you really want to know how confident you are in the science and medical exams then please visit and attend the test over there and the link of the channel has been given in the description. Question number six. What is the main function of the rectum? Your options are absorption of water, storage of feces, digestion of carbohydrates or secretion of enzymes. The correct answer is B that is storage of feces. The rectum stores feces until they are expelled from the body during defecation. Question number 7. Which of the following is a common disorder of the large intestine? Your options are gastritis, diverticulitis, hepatitis or pancreatitis. The correct answer is B that is diverticulitis. Diverticulitis is an inflammation or infection of small pouches that can form in the wall of the colon. Question number 8. What is the role of intestinal flora in the large intestine? Your options are digestion of fats, production of bile, synthesis of vitamins or absorption of water. The correct answer is C that is synthesis of vitamin. 
the intestinal flora get microbiota help in the synthesis of certain vitamins such as vitamin k and some b vitamins question number 9 what is the function of the goblet cells in the large intestine your options are absorption of water secretion of mucus production of enzymes or regulation of ph the correct answer is b that is secretion of mucus goblet cells in the large intestine secretes mucus which helps lubricate and protect the intestinal lining question number 10 which of the following is a characteristic feature of the large intestine your options are villi ruji lyca circulars or haustra the correct answer is d that is haustra the haustra are pouches or sacs that give the large intestine its segmented appearance question number 11 which of the following substances is primarily absorbed in the large intestine your options are amino acids monosaccharides fatty acids or water the correct answer is d that is water the large intestine absorbs water and electrolytes from the remaining indigestible material forming feces question number 12 which condition is characterized by the presence of pouches that bulge outward through the weak spots in the colon wall your options are ulcerative colitis irritable bowel syndrome diverticulosis or colorectal cancer the correct answer is c that is diverticulosis diverticulosis is a condition where small pouches develop in the colon wall usually due to increased pressure question number 13 which of the following nutrients undergoes minimal absorption in the large intestine your options are protein fat carbohydrate or fiber the correct answer is d that is fiber fiber a type of carbohydrate is minimally absorbed in the large intestine and adds bulk to feces question number 14 what is the primary function of the muscularis external layer in the large intestine your options are absorption secretion mixing and propulsion or protection the correct answer is c that is mixing and propulsion the muscularis external layer of the large intestine is responsible for mixing and propelling intestinal contents through peristalsis question number 15 what is the primary energy source for the cells lining the large intestine your options are glucose fatty acids short chain fatty acids or amino acids the correct answer is c that is short chain fatty acids the short chain fatty acids produced by the fermentation of dietary fiber so as the primary energy source for colonocytes question number 16 dear friends there is one more announcement dear friends as per your suggestions we have started a new youtube channel where we are conducting exam or assessments based on science topics i'm sure that those videos will help you a lot to prepare for upcoming science or medical even neat exams where we help you to gain knowledge and confidence attending plenty quizzes based on science and neat exams if you really want to know how confident you are in the science and medical exams then please visit and attend the test over there and the link of the channel has been given in the description which of the following hormones stimulates the secretion of bicarbonate rich mucus by the epithelial cells of the large intestine your options are gastrin secretin cholecystokinin or ghrelin 
The correct answer is B that is secretin. Secretin stimulates the secretion of bicarbonate rich mucus which helps to neutralize acidic chyme in the large intestine. Question number 17. Which of the following condition is characterized by the inflammation and ulceration of the lining of the colon and rectum? Your options are diverticulitis, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis or appendicitis. The correct answer is C that is ulcerative colitis. Ulcerative colitis is a type of inflammatory bowel disease IBD that affects the colon and rectum causing inflammation and ulcers. Question number 18. What is the term for the moment of feces from the rectum through the anus to the outside of the body? Your options are peristalsis, mastication, defecation or segmentation. The correct answer is C that is defecation. The defecation is the process of expelling feces from the rectum through the anus. Question number 19. Which of the following is a function of the large intestine in addition to absorption and storage? The options are regulation of blood sugar levels, synthesis of digestive enzymes, production of bile or fermentation of undigested carbohydrates. The correct answer is D that is fermentation of undigested carbohydrates. The large intestine contains bacteria that fermentate undigested carbohydrates, producing gases and short chain fatty acids. Question number 20. Which segment of the large intestine is responsible for reabsorbing bile salts and some water? Two options are ascending colon, cecum, descending colon or sigmoid colon. The correct answer is A that is ascending colon. Ascending colon is responsible for reabsorbing bile salts from the intestinal contents. Question number 21. Which of the following substances is not normally found in feces? Two options are water, bacteria, undigested food particles or red blood cells. The correct answer is D that is red blood cells. Red blood cells are normally broken down and recycled by the body and are not typically found in feces. Question number 22. Which of the following condition is characterized by the abnormal stretching and enlargement of the large intestine? Two options are volvulus, megacalon, intus, intus, susception, intus susception, intus susception, intus susception, intus intus susception or colitis. The correct answer is B that is megacolon. The megacolon is a condition characterized by the abnormal stretching and enlargement of the large intestine. Question number 23. Which of the following is a common symptom of irritable, irritable, irritable bowel syndrome IBS? Your options are rectal bleeding, fever, Abdominal pain or discomfort or jaundice. The correct answer is C that is abdominal pain or discomfort. Abdominal pain or discomfort is a common symptom of irritable bowel syndrome along with bloating and changes in bowel habits. Question number 24. Which of the following is not a function of the large intestine? Two options are. Absorption of nutrients, production of digestive enzymes, formation of feces or synthesis of vitamins. The correct answer is B that is production of digestive enzymes. The large intestine primarily absorbs water and electrolytes and 
form feces but it does not produce digestive enzymes question number 25th which of the following substances is responsible for the brown color feces two options are bilirubin melanin hemoglobin or uric acid the correct answer is a that is bilirubin bilirubin a breakdown product of hemoglobin gives feces its characteristic brown gives feces its characteristic gives feces its characteristic brown color so dear friends it's a time to comment your score out of so dear friends it's a time to comment your score out of 25 questions so let us see what is your score out of 25 questions dear friends there is one more announcement dear friends as per your suggestions we have started a new youtube channel where we are conducting exam or assessment based on science topics i'm sure that those videos will help you a lot to prepare for upcoming science or medical even neat exams where we help you to gain knowledge and confidence attending plenty quizzes based on science and neat exams if you really want to know how confident you are in the science and medical exams then please visit and attend the test over there and the link of the channel has been given in the description and if the video was helpful then please comment your view on this video and do support us by liking and subscribing and sharing our channel our videos so thank you so much for watching and wish you good luck for your upcoming exams